If you're looking um, to go rafting for the full day, you'll be going 14 miles on the river. You'll be able to watch the scenery change as you float down the river. It's really quite a special experience. You get uh, rapids throughout the day, you get lots of nice swimming breaks. What a great day to float the river, to go down the rapids and to splash a bunch of people. We've had some great battles. The pirates have been alive today, I'll tell you what. So it's been a really, really fun day, but because life is good. It's been a great day. It's been a great day. A couple of the rabbits were a little bit scary. We um, made it through with our great guide and we got to soak a couple of people pretty good with a bucket, so we really have enjoyed it. We'll stop at Red Cliffs Lodge. All you can eat, burgers, cookies, the whole works. And we'll stop here if you're on the PM half day or if you're here with us for the full day as well. And then after that we'll continue on and hit some of the bigger rapids and get a nice taste for whitewater rafting. The raft trip here today has been wonderful. We've met a lot of new people and it's been a great experience. Got a little bit of rough water, so we've enjoyed that. One thing I've enjoyed about the raft trip is the guide. I just love the humor of the guides. It, that's been really fun. You know, I would recommend this raft trip to anybody. It's simple enough for the young kids to enjoy and not too rough, but also you get a little excitement. But the whole day is absolutely breathtaking. Humber Safari is one of the craziest car rides you'll ever be in. You are rock crawling over these super steep rock formations. One of the most popular trips that we offer is the Hummer Safari up to Hell's Revenge Trail. Uh, people just love that. On the Hummer trips, we see all sorts of families and all sorts of people, and it's uh, interesting to watch them and their reactions to the scenery, to each other. Uh, we really have an enjoyable time. It draws the family closer together. Guests that we see the most, anywhere from three to four year old children, up to 80, 90 year old folks and everywhere in between. Moab has a number of places where the dinosaur tracks are prevalent in the slick rock, in the mudstone that was left over from 200 million years ago. Hell's Revenge Trail has a very nice display of dinosaur tracks and it's very common for uh, us Hummer drivers to stop and share what we know about uh, what was walking around here during the Jurassic time period. The Hummer Safari was amazing. It was intense, it was exciting, it was thrilling. It gets your blood going. It's another thing that you should experience. The Hummer climbs a bunch of rocks and, and it was so fun to be able to be with your family and go on something crazy and wild. We were up on this top of this rock there and the sunset was just like setting behind the mountains. Awesome, incredible, recommend it to anyone. Larches National Park is an amazing landscape of eroded sandstone, giving us fantastic views of arches and towering landforms, beautiful tan sandstone. Come on the Arches Sunset Tour to have a better idea of what is there to absorb and enjoy. We're going to catch that breathtaking view. On the Arches Sunset Tour, we're out for about four hours and reconnecting people with nature and having that social interaction of people from around the world. A typical guest is someone who's traveled through national parks and wanting highlights and points of interest that they just can't get on their own. I've loved it because we've learned more about the scientific foundations to the park and the different strata of rock and it's fascinating. I thought it was totally transformational. We got one-on-one -on -one attention. We got so much information and knowledge about the park itself and the formations and the archaeology, the geology, the history. And you just can't know that from reading a brochure. It's just something you can't experience until you're there on the ground with someone who's an expert. We really capture the erosion that this layer of Entrada sandstone was once solid. And here the erosion of this canyon has taken away most of the rock leaving these thin walls and monolith balancing, so pretty fascinating. My favorite place, I think, has to be Park Place. We came to see it just before sunset. The feeling of stillness, and you're looking at those huge edifices of solid rock, just made you feel that there is a supreme being out there and you're just one little grain, smaller than a grain of sand. But it was such a comforting, solemn feeling of serenity, yeah. Something that we didn't expect at all, but it turned out to be an entire forest of arches. My sister planned this trip for us. She just said it was gonna be awesome and come along and 
I just had faith that it would be and I was not let down. It was amazing. The word that comes to mind is awe-inspiring. The fins, the geology, just the magnificence, the sheer scale of it all, it was just incredible. Well, it's interesting because I'm a retired English teacher and I don't know that you can find the adequate words. In many ways, it's been even more than I expected. It's one of those things where, like any good writer, I'm gonna to have to sit down and figure it out how I wanna say it. <laughs> because it is just beyond awesome, beyond breathtaking, beyond uh, what I imagined. But it's like when we saw the Grand Canyon. The pictures are, yeah, that's something, but then when you're there, you just are amazed that it's 20 times better than you imagined it from the pictures. And it's the same here. We're totally pleased. We thought that it was absolutely the right decision and we would highly recommend it. It was much more than we thought.